You alright guys, it's Capcom Tom here and I'm back for another quick FIFA news flash and today we are going to be looking at the team of the week, a really nice one for you, some really good players in there and some ones I reckon will go for an absolute bomb. So let's jump straight into it and have a look at who we've got. We have first off Gary Hooper from Celtic, uh, obviously had an inform last year, this year he has a 79 inform, uh, 82 pace, uh, 76 dribbling and 79 heading, some of his best stats there. We have Matri from Juventus, Italian, he has 85 pace. 77 shooting, 77 dribbling and 82 heading. In the right wing position we have Lamella, he's going to go for quite a lot I would imagine having 5 star skills. He has 83 pace, 76 shooting, 75 passing, 89 dribbling and 65 heading. Moving on to the midfield we have Joaquin from Malaga. One of my favourite players on PES 6, he used to grow very quickly in the career mode so um, one player that I really enjoyed using. He has 78 pace, 75 shooting, 85 passing, 88 dribbling and 50 to heading. We have on the left mid but actually playing as a right mid is Simao. I can imagine him going for quite a bit as well. 81 pace, 87 dribbling, 79 shooting, 79 passing and 60 heading so some good stats for him. Now we move on to the interesting players of this team of the week. In One of them being Steven Gerrard. He has an 85 over rate, overall rated in form card. 72 pace, 87 shooting and 89 passing. Some great stats for him there. Probably going to be going into a lot of English and BPL teams and this is the one I think will go for an absolute ton there are two in this team of the week that will go for an absolute bomb and this David Luiz is one of them because David Luiz generally is a centre back his centre defensive mid card obviously has moved his position people are going to be able to I hate to say it people are going to be able to be playing David David Luiz as a striker in their team so I can imagine him being worth a heck of a lot so if you get one of these I would definitely recommend you hang on to him for a while um, or if you get him the first couple of days sell him on as quickly as you can if you um, obviously buy one at the end of this team of the week and keep a hold of him he should be going for an absolute load when they become a bit scar scarcer on the market he has 79 pace 71 shooting 74 passing 72 dribbling 80 defending and 79 heading the other standout player of this team of the week is obviously Thiago Silva I can imagine him going for well over 400k maybe over 500k we have him having 83 pace 80 passing 73 dribbling 89 defending and 84 heading so by far the best centre back on the game just because of his pace obviously there is a couple that are rated slightly higher I think that Vidic is an 89 um, but an 88 with that sort of pace is definitely going to go for an absolute bomb anyway we have Skirtle as well 70 pace 83 defending and 84 heading we have this silver guy Carlos Martinez um, he looks half decent I mean 73 pace 75 passing 75 defending and 66 heading so an average silver right back there we have Marshall in goal um, I don't know whether he's going to be going for a lot he looks all right for a silver goalkeeper but obviously when I choose a silver goalkeeper I always go for rating above all else so if he was 74 I would be looking at him in that position moving on to the bench we'll go through the goal players First, we have Pinar from Everton. Looks like a decent in form left mid. 75 pace, 76 shooting, 78 passing, 85 dribbling. So, some good stats for him. We also have Chadley from the Air Divisie. He plays for FC Twente. 77 pace, 77 shooting, 76 passing, 80 dribbling, and 69 heading. A very similar card to actually Pinar there. Some of the stats are very, very similar. So, um, similar in forms for those two. We also have Rue from, um, I think it's Lille. Um, he has some good stats there he has uh, 78 pace 82 shooting and 73 dribbling and 75 headings so some good stats for him as well moving on to the silver players we have Turam Ulien a silver goalkeeper I believe he must play in either league 1 or league 2 but can't see again as a goalkeeper you're looking for that 74 overall rating and since he hasn't got that I can't imagine him going for all that much only a little bit more than discard price we have McManon as well I can imagine him going for a little bit English silver and forms always go for quite a lot although his pace may hold him back on that front with only 70 in a right back position you're usually looking for more moving on to the bronzes this guy will go for quite a bit um, left mid 70 pace he is obviously Holmes. He has 66 shooting, 59 heading, 67 dribbling. Some some good stats for him. And our last player of the team is Bridge. Um, he is Australian, is that or is that New Zealand? Let's have a look because I don't want to embarrass myself there. He is. Where's his nationality? 
his nationality is not even on there. That's brilliant. So I guess I have to change it down here. It's always embarrassing when you don't know what a player's nationality is. I think it's Australian. Yeah, of course. Australian. It was my first guess. So he plays for the Wanderers FC A-League. Um, looks half decent, so maybe worth picking up. Um, so guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please drop it a like. I have left a link to the team of the week down in the description so you can go and check out all these players for yourself. But other than that, I will leave it there and I will see you all next time.